breathe in us, Holy Spirit, that our thoughts may all be holy. Add in us, Holy Spirit, that our walk too may be holy. Draw our hearts close to you. Father, straighten us and defend us in every area of our life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning, happy new day, happy Friday, July 14, 2023. This is Love World, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an every language. Hallelujah song will never say to our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is the rule of the Holy Spirit. The rule of the Holy Spirit. And the first time we find the book of John 16, verse 13. I read. How bad when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will chill you. Just to come. Our bed, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. For the next three days, we shall be looking at the role of the Holy Spirit in the life of believers. Today, we will consider his role as a witness to Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. The very important role of the Holy Spirit is the conviction of sin, as we saw in our today Bible text. It's read in part, John 16 verse 8, I read, and when he is called, he will reprove the word of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Unfortunately, many people choose to be just spectator and merely watch the Holy Spirit in action, doing what only he can do, but are never partake out of it. Such people see them allow the Holy Spirit to play its primary role of bringing them to repentance as they refuse to be remorsefully for their sins. When people refuse to be convicted of their sin, they demonstrate a lack of faith in God's word, which says, All have sinned and fallen short of glory of God. Romans 3 verse 23 Such people rationalize sin and call it all sort of nice name. This is why the Bible encourages us to confess our sin, even to one another, that we may be healed. James 5 verse 16 The first thing Jesus takes care of in life, of whoever he wants to heal, is the issue of sin. According to Mark 2, 5 to 12, even after Jesus has healed an individual, and found him in the temple some days later, his admonition was seen no more. Lest a worse thing come unto thee. John 5 verse 14 Beloved, if you have not yet confessed and forsaken your sin, allow the Holy Spirit to convict you of them. Begin to pay close attention to the details of God's requirements for holy living and you will see the Holy Spirit transforming your life far beyond all expectation. Brethren, sin no more. I want us to read the book of John, 16, verse 7 to 14, and a Bible in one year, Song of Solomon, 5, verse 8. 
or an image in 14. Oh, what a wonderful day. Oh, what a wonderful day. Our prayer point for today. Father, please empower me to live only in Jesus' name. Father, please empower me to live only in Jesus' name. And I pray my God will empower you. He will bless you and forgive you all the sin in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, this is Love Word. Till I come your way tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button. Share with your friends and family. Spread the work of God. Share the gospel. Help us to do it. We can do this alone. By the power of God, as you are doing this, Holy Spirit will bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, this is Love World. Like on your way. Have a nice day. And bye for now. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.